I like trees because they give us air. I like trees for shade and for green places. I like trees because trees, the, the bed used to make their shade on a tree. We are planting trees for us to get uh, shade and fruit and uh, we are also planting trees because if we have trees the land is leaning. We, we, uh, we are planting also trees to prevent deforestation and to have income generating for ourselves because if we plant uh, fruit trees then we will, we will get fruit for selling and get some income generating for ourselves. Inima ishi imacha ishe oyeto parera nemsati atute ikuni tatu di koma gumbogetu ni kita tuk atuke ne gumbuzet emgongo ohatu koromo engongo tatu no chin tatu no magongo tatu tende engongo atu engongo magazi atu kusamo muk atu songo nyona kochin emrunga. Atu taga tatuli endunga seta tu tereko makende mo makende mo na tu kakusamo imariwa tatura ndisa o kutikweta o kuri nawa keshe chimweche tu imati tu ina mo o tu eti kiwa nawa eto parera no kuri nambio o makwava endungu o mapapa e Umenonachika na mpono. Mm -hmm. Umana nango. Hii ni mii hanawa. Aisha keshe chimwe chirimpo. Achi zimariwa. Okay. E, kukoto tingi niko kombinga yo. Yume no mbuwa pewa anana esi. Wambino atu ke usire ningoshi. Hui uchiri nengo ye. Atu esi nike otauka, otauka sapo. Hai. Nge wa sipo shira. Atanyi mwanga shoma vigetu omine. Atu siro chimpu yu. Umeno wa nona yetu yethiwa. Atu siro chimpu yu lelare. Si tatare ni mwashito proashetu shino nengi mungkunda wetu nguno mwenyalu hili. Nito ni mkunda nga adhizo po pepi. Siwa tada ndeta di tunapevi nengi natango dhuki ke pombanda? Natango dhuka pombanda me. Dhuka pombanda na ine. Yalo. Ewa, tangu nene. If, if someone can give me the importance, the importance of uh, Nima tree, what is it? The importance of Nima tree. Yeah. They give medicine. You can use this as medicine. You can apply this one. You can control the pest with the leaves from this tree. So if our learners 
see some pests disturbing our plants. They take the leaves nicely, they, they, they smash it in water and they apply it on the plant which is attacked by the, the insect and tomorrow when you come back my friend it's no more there. Yes. And uh, if someone is cough, have a coughing problem, you just take a, a leaf from this, you chew, you swollen, then tomorrow you are okay. Oh, it's, it's, it's really a medicine, it's very much important. So, our renas explain this one to the parents also, to know the importance of trees, like, it's not only to give shade, not only firewood, but it's also important to birds. These are the shelters of some wild animals. So we should keep trees, we should not cut down trees. This is Oshuambo traditional house. Here we have the teacher of Oshindonga, the teacher of the language called Oshindonga. In the book there is only a picture. But uh, the teacher tried to come up with practical something so that really learners will know how to make hat, how to make, you can see, the, you see the streets, ne? nice streets, ne? the sitting rooms and all, all those. Now learners can touch the theory. This, you see, in the class they are doing theory and outside they are doing practice. Now this is theory make practice. Now really they can really do it. They know how to do it with the local materials is one of the importance of plants these are from plants they are all plants whatever you touch is plant is plant you feel even that animal that dead there it it, it depend on what that goat depend on what can maybe some one learner yeah. help you can tell us it depend on what What's yeah. the source yeah. of energy depend. and depend on what what does it depend eat? on what what does the sheep eat mm. It eat plants, yeah. you see? It eat plants. Every animal depends on plants. So we can move, we can continue. We we need some some donation to be able to manage our our plants. Like here I can see Miss Johanna, she's having a pest that uh, disturbing our our plants. You see, these are the pests that disturb our plants. Uh, we sometimes we just kill them. And uh, but mostly the easy way to control it is to clear the area. If you make sure that we make sure that all the glasses is removed, so they will not be able to come in if the area is very clean. My learners collected. They started with this. They collected materials, local materials from home. They brought them at school. They make a nursery of that good standard. We planted a lot of. Uh, uh, plants there we sell them all we got money and now a small money from there we apply we apply a donation from uh, a tree planting project the manager is Mr. Chikaputo you see he gave us all this everything almost and uh, we did not get anybody from outside to come and make our nursery our learners themselves they come up with a nursery to with the help from their teachers now we have this nursery and inside the nursery here you can see we have a lot of plants we did not buy the seeds that we use here our learners collected seeds from home Seeds that belong to a same species or a same tree or a same plant in one plastic. They sow them and they germinate. Now they are growing. On the other polypots there, we plant we have seeds that we got from our friend DAPP. He's helping us a lot together with Meme Johanna, the establisher of our environmental club they are there you can see they are germinating 
this uh, plant were just uh, grown uh, last November and we sell per, per plant eight Namibian dollars per plant. These are sort of uh, shrubs. Um, it, it is very easy, you can see. You can get it just, this is how they make it, you see. You just take a reef, you take a reef, you just put it down on the ground. On the ground, you see. And after few days, you see, yeah. After few days, they develop. And this is good for what? Can you learn us? These shrubs, they are good for what? They are good for what? Hmm? They are good for oxygen. It's true. It's true, my learners. True. Give it. It's true. They are good for oxygen. They are good for oxygen. And uh, you have it. You put it in the in the in your sitting room. You are exchanging now. It's a, it's a sort of program of exchanging. You give carbon dioxide, it gives you oxygen. It's like that, it's like that. You are growing, it's also growing. You see, that is now a very good indication that uh, there is a good communication between plants and animals, plants and the people. So, plants depend on people and the people depend on plants. So, the main purpose of our environmental uh, club is to teach learners, the young generation, to know that plants and the people depend on each other. With that, the, the ecosystem, the ecosystem will be only balanced if we have all, if there are people that controlling the plants and the plants that controlling the people because Plants provide us with many things. Uh, can you please? What what is the importance of plants? Maybe if I, they can help me. What? Uh, tell me. What is the importance of plants? It gives us shade. It gives us shade. Give us medicine. Medicine. Oh, it's even attract bee forage. Bees. Bee forage. Give us oil like like ojove. How? Oil like ojove that we put in uh, spinach cake, you see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fire wood. If we have it, you take one branch or only a branch, it get it become dry. Then after that, you use it as firewood, not uh, the whole tree. What else? It give us pole. It give us pole that we use. There's the pole. What else? Give us huh? Give us fruit. Fruits, uh, fruit. Then we eat. Mm -hmm. Other clothes, other clothes, making, 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 on plant. Yeah, plant like what? Some clothes are made from cotton. 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 Yes, from cotton plant. You see? I think Oxygen to breathe in. Oxygen. Ah. We, one of the important, why we have three, we are supporting with the nature and the ecosystem. Yes, yes. Maybe there you can also explain, yeah. some, explain here. Yes. What is in the trees? Just go ahead. You see, I will explain here in the way also. You see now, mister, here, in the book, books have pictures. But pictures, but we have something in reality now here. In the book, they are telling us that trees provide shelters to wild animals that have nowhere to stay at all. But now, like here, we have a bed that lays its eggs in the nest here you see it's a bird that lay its eggs in the nest there and the uh, birds learners my learners they say birds do not disturb at all this acacia color it's a tree it's a tree and uh, one bed is already accommodated here. It's already having a house here. You see? It's already having a house here. This tree, we planted this tree 2004 in a tree planting competition. All of these trees on this side, we planted them. We came number one. We won the first prize. 
2005 again we planted the other trees in that row we won again this competition the first prize we have uh, the floating trophy for the second time now at our school and we have a hope that even this year we are going to win the very first prize and that the trophy will not ever leave our school anymore. As I told you that our environmental club started in 2004, these are some of the activities that uh, were created, like uh, they want to keep uh, healthy, to create a healthy environment. Like there is a statement that reads, your health is our concern. That is a statement from my learners. When you leave the toilet, you come here, there used to be soap at the basin of water. You take your soap, you wash your heads, then you go and touch, uh, touch the books or touch the foot. You see, it's to keep the health, to create the health environment. We do cleaning awareness at Kuka Shop. We have established a dusty bin there at Kuka Shop. My learners. At school, we have a, a, a cleaning campaign awareness. And uh, we are also uh, promoting uh, 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 healthy uh, awareness among our learners, the future generations. And when, once they get home, they preach the same story to their parents or, or to, the, to the young generation. Which means the message goes from one yes. to another. Yes, mm -hmm. they, they really spread the message from school to the community, just like that which is the main point, the main yeah. aim. That is the main the aim of environmental our environmental club. club. To have the, the, the message of the importance of environment understood or reach the parents or the community. Mm -hmm. We can only make it through these uh, uh, learners. They are our spokespersons. They are our tools. They are the good instrument to disseminate information. And with, the, with them, we are really succeeding. Now everyone, every house at least, plant one tree. That is the slogan of our mm. club. Mm. One person, one tree each year. Yo, which means that uh, after two years, if in the house there are two people, three, I mean two trees a year. If there are five, five trees a year. And everyone should take care of that one tree only. And mm. it's very easy and it's very simple, mm. but it means a lot and it's very well. Mm. And it helps, it really helps. Because every year you have only a responsibility of taking care of one tree at home. Okay, now it grows off this height. Next year you, pr you plant another one. Mm. With the help of Meme Hanna, our coordinator from JPP, we are hoping to have a very bright future and a successful uh, environmental club that will make a meaning not only at our school, neither in the community, mm -hmm. but in the country at large. Planning, planning trees to avoid devastation. Planning, 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 planning to avoid devastation. Planning, planning trees to avoid devastation. Planning, 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 planning to avoid devastation. Okay.
So welcome to Nesai production of DAPP Namibia. Nesai production DAPP is the largest nesai in Omsati region. It produces about more than 10,000 seedlings seasonally. Uh, we have different uh, seedlings in this nursery. Some are flowers for decoration. Some seedlings is for shade. Some are for fruits. Uh, basically, that is it we have in this nursery. <laughs> yeah, as I told you before, we have different uh, kinds of fruit seedlings. Here we have the mangoes, seedlings, uh, that's what we produce this uh, last seasonal. Then we still have to produce. But this one is not, uh, uh, mostly it is very rarely produced only once in a year. And this side of my left hand side, I have, uh, we have papas, the papas, and this side we have guavas. And those are the, some of the kind of uh, fruit trees we have in this nursery. Okay, then we can proceed to other side to see other seedlings. This is uh, the acacia uh, thorns. And uh, they are also indigenous trees and thorns important in Namibia. We, uh, we use it for animal feeding. And this side is also indigenous tree. It's a very important tree, a mopan tree. Uh, we get mopan worm from them. This side there is a neem tree. This neem is very important tree, used for treatment of other plants. It's a good medicine. This side, we have a marura seedlings. This is also important tree seedlings in Namibia. It's an indigenous. It produces uh, some leek for drinking. Yeah, it's a tree for seeds. It's a suicide. They are also important and produce uh, provide a good seed. This side. These are the new plantation for chiri. They will be used for orphan program next year. So we prepare it, we prepare it just to, to, to be ready for that program next year. And here we have also the new quarry pots. They are prepared to plant the new seedlings again for orphan program that will start next year, early January. So we will give uh, seedlings to one, to, to, to the orphans, approximately four seedlings per orphans. And this is uh, a national, uh, JPP necessary production. I like Mopani. This tree is the traditional of Namibia. This tree can be using wood shader for Namibia. Animal and others can using Mopani for shaders. This tree can observe for 2006. This is a marula tree. This is a traditional Namibia tree. When you having marula, just the marula produce free and shedda tree also. The children can also eating a fruit for malula. And the fruit for malula you can getting cooking oil also. This is the biggest marula. The marula is the biggest, the longest in Namibia. The people can find a shedda and the fruit also to marula. This is a Moringa tree. I like this tree because this tree can be used to treat so many diseases in the body. This tree is not familiar here in Namibia, but it can be found in some parts of Zimbabwe. 
Moringa tree is mainly used for treating several diseases in one spot and is very important in boosting the immune system. This is a jatropha. This is a plant which we can get oil from the seeds, which we call bio diesel. And also this plant we can use it for a living fence. Let it plant these trees. Very important. Plant tree to green Namibia. Plant tree fight retrofaction. Plant tree fight retrofaction. Let plant tree.